Well, I think several good things have happened in the cord blood area over the last couple of years. One is there's a greater acceptance of cord blood as a stem cell source, and so it's just being used more, um, which means that more transplanters are accepting of it as a modality to treat patients. And that's great because more patients are getting treated. Right now, cord blood stem cells can be used to cure patients with cancer, with sickle cell, with other genetic diseases, with bubble boy syndrome, and with some um, metabolic defects. And we've shown, and others have shown, that cord blood stem cells can repair damaged tissues um, that are not blood tissues. And so we know they have potential, and they're in use right now for thousands of patients whose lives have actually been saved with a cord blood transplant. I think what you're going to see in the next few years is a use of cord blood for heart disease, uh, for peripheral vascular disease, people that get ulcers that can't heal. Um, a few years after that, probably some work in diabetes and maybe some work in stroke or other brain injuries. Those are not here now, but there's enough experimental work going on in the lab to know they're coming. What drives me is the patients that I can't help right now. So even though I've seen great things happen, um, and those are wonderful things. What keeps driving me is the people that I can't help enough. <laughs> and so I keep trying to think of ways that we could broaden the applications or expand things so that we could help the people we can't help right now. Well, I actually think the next big advance in medicine is going to be what people are calling cell therapy or, or um, tissue repair and regenerative medicine. I think not that drugs aren't important and that we won't continue to see new drug development. I think we've exhausted sort of the big explosion of drug development and that now there are things drugs can't do that cells can do. And, and using cells to help repair tissues, I think is going to be the next big advance in medicine. Cord blood can, can treat metabolic diseases, which are diseases where children are born missing enzymes that are necessary for development of the brain or the heart sometimes the liver, sometimes bones or cartilage or pancreas. And it turns out that cord blood cells have cells of those origins in them and that they can repair tissues that are damaged um, that are not blood tissues. And right now we're not smart enough to know how they do it. We can put the cells in someone's body and they go to work. 